five. A massive manhunt underway in North Arkansas after two inmates managed to escape from the Thirsty County Jail. Good evening. Thanks for being with us at 5 tonight. I'm Victoria Price. The jailbreak happened around 9 o'clock last night. As of 6 this morning, one of those inmates, Jason Brandon, was back behind bars. However, this man right here, Matthew Armstrong, who is an accused murderer, remains on the run tonight. KRK4's Price McKeon. People are on edge tonight, understandably, in Price. You're learning more about how these inmates were able to escape in the first place. That's right, Victoria. The sheriff told me that this all started last night when three powered a jailer. Two inmates escaped. One of those inmates back in the jail behind me. The other one, this man, an accused murderer, is on the run, and it has people on edge. By air and on land, more than a dozen law enforcement agencies searched Searcy County Sunday for an escapee seen in these two photos. Uh, scared. Most definitely scared. Well, I just, I've got a gun at my house, too. I've got a gun and a pistol, and uh, I keep my doors locked, my car locked. Anxiety and fear stirs in the town of Marshall and around the county after Sheriff Joey Pruitt says a man charged with first-degree murder was one of two inmates who escaped the county jail around 9.15 Saturday night. Just, just be safe, keep your doors locked, keys out of the vehicles, and just be aware. So there's a chance he could be kind of grasping for anything at this point? Yes, we think so. The sheriff says 31-year-old Matthew Armstrong remains on the run Sunday afternoon. At this point, if he has not made it out of our area, he may be getting desperate to get out of here. It makes you feel nervous, you know, because he could come to your house. This local pastor says he preached more than a sermon Sunday morning. I tell him to make sure you're locked and your house locked. Make sure you know where a gun is. Well, you don't never know when somebody like him is going to come in on you. Locals lock down and try to stomach what happened as the search continues for Armstrong. Right now, investigators are inside this jail and they're questioning someone that the sheriff says could possibly have helped these inmates get away in the first place, but they are still talking with that person. And a lot of these officers, including the sheriff, are running on little to no sleep, but they say they will not stop looking for this man that the sheriff is calling dangerous. Again, Matthew Armstrong, if you see him, the sheriff's office says do not approach him and to call 911. Reporting live in Searcy County, Price McKeon, back to you. All right, Price, thanks so much, and definitely keep us updated on that search. Meanwhile, digging a little more into why Matthew Armstrong was in jail in the first place. Court documents show that he's accused of killing 26-year-old Jessica Thornton back in February of this year. An autopsy found the victim died from a gunshot and blunt force trauma to the head.